Greetings, in this video I'm gonna help you troubleshoot a Samsung Galaxy Tab where the battery is draining too fast. Can be pretty common with these Samsungs. Doesn't matter what model that you have. All right, first thing I want you to do is do a force restart on the tablet. That's gonna close all the apps. And to do that while it's on, you're gonna hold down the power button and the volume down button simultaneously. You might have to hold it for about 30 seconds and to do a, a full restart, that, that right there may fix your issue. After you do that, next thing I want you to do is open up the bar here on the top. And let's say if you have Bluetooth on, for example, go ahead and turn off the Bluetooth. And you have data, let's say if you have Verizon or T-Mobile, and then you have your Wi-Fi. So if you're using Wi-Fi, turn off the data. If you're only using the data, let's say you're out and you don't want to use the Wi-Fi, turn off the Wi-Fi, okay? And by turning one of those off, that is going to preserve a lot of your battery power. All right, next thing I want you to do is to, to visit your apps in your settings. The settings is the blue gear shift looking thing. All right, and so from there, what I want you to do is I want you to go to apps. You'll have to scroll all the way down to where it says apps. And then I want you to look at the apps that you know uh, that may be taking a lot of your battery. Click on it, and then force stop. stop. I've already forced stop this one. That's why it's not highlighted. But force stop, and then if you ever need to go to use it again, just remember to go back in there and turn it back on. But a lot of times these apps will um, make that happen. If you want to uninstall, it doesn't hurt to uninstall apps that might be hogging up. Uh, stuff. So, so for example, with the uh, this one, for example, internet, I just hold my finger down and click uninstall. And uninstalling apps can clean up your tablet to make make it help you with the battery. Now, the next thing I want you to do, uh, we talked about Wi-Fi, but I want you to go back into settings, and I want you to go up to where it, it, you see battery up here. Click battery. And then I want you to make sure it's on power saving mode. As you can see here, mine's already lit up blue. Power saving. That can preserve a lot of energy. And then right below here is going to show up all the apps that are hogging all your energy. So you can see here, hidden objects is a game. It's using up 34% of my battery. So what we can do is we can close that, shut that app down. Um, and I showed you how to force stop it. So go back to that previous page I was at, and then force stop hidden objects if that's not the, if you're not using it. So it's going to show you which one is is using all your battery. All right, next thing I want you to do is go to display and check your brightness. If you can bear it to go down a little bit on brightness, that's going to preserve your energy. Next thing what I want you to do is go to screen timeout. Now I got it on a hefty five minutes, which is pretty long. You might want to lower it to two or even a minute. That way, if you're going to get coffee or if you're going to go to the bathroom, it's not hogging up your energy by just staying on. So lower it to like a minute or 30 seconds. All right, next thing, you want to disable auto sync. So to do that, we're going to go back to settings, little blue gear shift. And then what we're going to do from here is go into account, uh, which is usually down here. Where is it? Account and backup. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click on Manage Accounts, and you're going to see Auto Sync Data. And what I want you to do is make sure that's off. So, for example, if I turn it, if I click it and turn it off, it's going to say, "This will reduce the data usage and conserve battery power by turning it off." And see how that works for you. Check your power cord. Make sure your power. You might want to try a different power cord or a different power source. Um, so, for example. If you can, hook it up to a wall, but try to get a wall outlet that you can connect it to directly. And a lot of times that will um, that will help you out tremendously. All right, next thing what I want you to do is uh, we want to turn it off completely. And then what we're going to do is we're going to clean up the cache. To go into Google Recovery, what we're going to do is we're going to hold down the power and the volume up this time. All right, so we're gonna hold it and we're not gonna let go, even when we see the Samsung logo. 
keep holding. Now as it's going, now I'm going to let go of the power while still holding on to the volume up. Still holding, still holding. It's going to take us to a bio screen, which is Google Recovery. It's going to look like this. And what I want you to do is you're going to use the up and down volume to go all the way to where it says um, wipe cache partition. All right. And then click power to click wipe cache partition. And then it's going to come back to this screen. And then what I want you to do is reboot system now. Okay, we're going to go do a system a software update. Go to settings. We'll go to settings. And then from settings, what we're going to do is we're going to go to scroll down to software update. Click on software update. And then click download and install. So that should take a few minutes. See if that will fix your issue. Next thing what I want you to do is go into Google Play Store. And then from Play Store, what I want you to do is click on your little icon up here on the upper right. And then from here, we're going to click Manage Apps and Devices. And then what I want you to do is Update Devices. So check for updates. Now, I've already done that in Google Play Store, but that should work. All right, next thing what we're going to do, if you've tried all that and it's still giving you a lot of problems, you might have to do a full factory reset. What we want to do is, again, hold the volume up the power at the same time and don't let go keep holding now let go of the power while you're still holding down to the volume up button it's going to take us to that little bio screen and we're going to do a full factory restore now remember when you do this it's going to wipe out all your data as far as your pictures videos and any information you have on the apps um, but it will make it back to the original box settings. And if you're having that much of a problem, that might be the only solution. Use the volume up and down button to go to wipe data factory reset. And that's going to make it like it's fresh out of the box. And that'll take about 20 or 30 minutes. Make sure it's plugged in. And you should have about 50% battery before you do it, before it allows you to do that. And then go ahead and hit the power button to select wipe data factory reset. All right. And then you should be good to go with that. Now, if all else fails and you've done all that, and that still does not do the do the trick, and you're just ready to toss it in the trash, what you can do, it's called the nuclear weapon, the nuclear method. And the nuclear method is to actually put it in the freezer for several hours. So, again, make sure it's powered off. And I want to do this for demonstration. Go to a freezer. And keep it in there for about 12 or 15 hours. And that will change the chemistry of the battery. Come back. And let it get to room temperature for about 30 minutes to an hour. Turn it on and see if that will fix the battery. Sometimes it will. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe.